Hello dear student, in today's session I will be solving NEET question paper of the year 2012. So let's start with the first question. In the first question you can see, Cycus and Adiantum resemble each other in having Option number A, Cambium Option number B, Vessels Option number C, Seeds and Option number D, Motile Sperms Student, this is from the chapter Plant Kingdom these two species, that is cycles and Indian term, these are pteridophytes. So these two species resemble each other in having motile sperms, which is option number D. So option number D is the correct answer. Now let's see the next question, that is question number 2. Gymnosperms are also called soft wood spermatophytes because they lack option number A thick walled trachytes, option number B xylem fibers, option number C cambium and option number D phloem fibers. Student you must remember gymnosperms they do not have xylem fibers and because of this these gymnosperms are also called as soft wood spermatophytes. That means option number B is the correct answer. Alright. Now let's see the next question that is question number 3. Question number 3 is maximum nutritional diversity is found in the group option number A monera, option number B plantae, option number C fungi and option number D animalia. Student, this is from the chapter biological classifications. So what is the correct answer in which of the following group the maximum nutritional diversity is there? That is in option number A, Monera. Monera comprises of different types of bacteria and these bacteria have different type of mode of their nutrition. They can be either autotrophic, then this autotrophic can be either photosynthetic or chemosynthetic and they also have heterotrophs. So these are the different type of their mode of nutrition. This is the reason they are called as the maximum nutritional diversity. So option number A is the correct answer. Now let's see the next question. That is question number 4. Which one of the following is common to multicellular fungi, filamentous algae and protonema of mosses? Option number A, mode of nutrition. Option number B, multiplication of fragmentation. Option number C, diplontic life cycle. And option number D, members of kingdom plantae. So in this question it has asked, which one of the following is common to multicellular fungi, filamentous algae and protonema of mosses? That's a very easy question. We have discussed all about this in the chapter plant kingdom. So what is the correct answer? The correct answer is option number B that is multiplication by fragmentation. So their reproduction is by multiplications and that is by fragmentation. So that is the correct answer. And this is common to both fungi, algae and also the protonema of mosses. That is the correct answer. Student, this is the question number 5. You can see which statement is wrong for viruses. Option number A, they have the ability to synthesize nucleic acid and proteins. Option number B, antibiotics have no effect on them. Option number C, all are parasites. And option number D, all of them have helical symmetry. This is from the chapter biological classification. So we have to select the wrong statement. Let's see the options here. In option number A, it is written, they have the ability to synthesize nucleic acid and proteins. That is the correct statement. Next in option number B, it is written, antibiotics have no effect on them. That is also a correct statement because they do not have cell wall. Next in option number C it is written all are parasites that is also a correct statement. 
Next in option number D it is written all of them have helical symmetry. Well, this is a incorrect statement. That means it is the correct answer for this question. Alright student, so this is the correct answer. In question number 6, which one of the following is a correct statement? Option number A, antheridiopores and archegoniospores are present in pteridophytes. Option number B, origin of seed habit can be traced in pteridophytes. Option number C, pteridophytes gametophyte has a peritoneal and leafy stage. Option number D, in gymnosperms, female gametophyte is free living. Student, this is also from the chapter plant kingdom. So what we have to do? We have to select the correct statement. Let's find out what are the correct statement. In option number A, it is written, Anthidiospores and archegonial pores are present in pteridophytes. That is the incorrect statement because they are found in bryophytes. Next in option number B, it is written, Origin of seed habit can be traced in pteridophytes. That is a correct statement because the seed habit is observed in pteridophytes. Next in option number C, it is written, Pteridophyte gametophyte has a peritoneal and leafy stage. That is an incorrect statement because they have peritoneal and leafy stage in the sporophytic stage. Next is option number D, in gymnosperms, female gametophyte is free living. That is also an incorrect statement which means from this four option, option number B is the only correct statement. So, option number B is the correct answer. Now, let's see the next question that is question number 7. Now, in this question you can see nuclear membrane is absent in option number A, wall box, option number B, penicillium, option number C, nostoc and option number D, agaricus. This is also from the chapter biological classification. So, what is the correct answer? This is a very easy question also. So, the correct answer is option number C that is nostoc. Nostoc, they do not have nuclear membrane on it because they are the prokaryotes, right? Prokaryotes, they do not have nuclear membrane. So, option number C is the correct answer. Now, let us see the next question that is question number 8. During gamete formation, the enzyme recombinase participates during option number A, prophase 1, option number B, prophase 2, option number C, metaphase 1 and option number D, anaphase 2. Student, this is from the chapter cell cycle and cell division. There we have discussed all these different types of meiosis, right? Now, what is the correct answer? So, in this question, it is asked. During gamete formation, the enzyme recombinates, participates during, that is option number A, prophase 1. That is the correct answer. Now, let us see the next question, that is question number 9. Which one of the following does not differ in E. coli and Chlamydomonas? Option number A, cell wall. Option number B, cell membrane. Option number C, ribosomes and option number D, chromosomal organization. Student, in this question it is asked, one of the following does not differ in E. coli and chlamydomonas. The correct answer is option number B, that is cell membrane. So, cell membrane is the correct answer and it has come from the chapter biological classification. Now, let us find out the next question, that is question number 10. In this question number 10, you can see here, PCR and restriction fragment length polymorphisms are the methods for option number A, DNA sequencing, option number B, genetic fingerprinting, option number C, study of enzymes and option number D, genetic transformation. Student, this is from the chapter molecular basis of inheritance. So, what is the correct answer? PCR and restriction fragment length polymorphisms are the methods for genetic fingerprinting which means option number B is the correct answer. So, fingerprintings is the correct answer. 
Now let's see the next question that is question number 11. Removal of RNA polymerase 3 from nucleoplasm will affect the synthesis of option number A mRNA, option number B rRNA, option number C tRNA and option number D hnRNA. Student this is also from the chapter molecular basis of inheritance. So what is the correct answer? The correct answer is tRNA that is transfer RNA alright. Now let us move on to the next question that is question number 12. Evolution of different species in a given area starting from a point and spreading to other geographical area is known as option number A migration, option number B divergent evolution, option number C adaptive radiation, option number D natural selection. This is a very easy question student. So what is the correct answer? In option number A it is written migration, option number B it is written divergent evolution and in option number C it is written adaptive radiation and in option number D it is written natural selection. So the correct answer is option number C that is adaptive radiation and it is from the chapter evolution. So adaptive radiation is the evolution of different species in a given area starting from a point and spreading to other geographical areas. That is the correct answer. Now let us see the next question that is question number 13. Removal of introns and joining of exons in a defined order during transcription is called option number A slicing, option number B splicing, option number C looping and option number D inducing. Student in this question it has asked the removal of introns and the joining of exon in a defined order during transcriptions that we have discussed in the chapter molecular basis of inheritance that process is called splicing which means option number B is the correct answer. Now let us move on to the next question. In question number 14 it is written which one of the following is not a part of the transcription unit in DNA? Option number A a promoter, option number B the structural gene, option number C the inducer and option number D a terminator. So student it has asked which one of the following is not a part of the transcription unit in DNA? That is a very easy question student and it is from the chapter molecular basis of inheritance. So what is the correct answer? The correct answer is option number C inducer. Inducer is not a part of the transcription unit of the DNA while a promoter, the structural gene and a terminators these are all part of the transcription unit in DNA. So that is the correct answer. Now let us move on to the next question that is question number 15. In question number 15 you can see an organic substance that can withstand environmental extreme and cannot be degraded by any enzymes is option number A lignin, option number B cellulose, option number C cuticle and option number D sporopollenin. Student this is a very easy question and it is directly come from your NCRT textbook of the chapter sexual reproduction in flowering plant. So what is the correct answer? Which of the following organic substance can withstand extreme conditions and cannot be degraded by any enzyme? That is sporopollenin which means option number D is the correct answer. Alright student. Now let us see the next question that is question number 16. Best defined function of manganese in green plant is Option number A nitrogen fixation, option number B water absorption, option number C photolysis of water, option number D Calvin cycle. Student this is from the chapter mineral nutrients. So what is the correct answer? Which of the following is the best defined function of manganese in green plants? 
that is of the photolysis of water that means the splitting of water now option number c is the correct answer for this question now let's see the next question that is question number 17 water containing cavities in vascular bundles are found in option number a cycas option number b pinus option number c sunflower and option number d maize so in this question it has asked water containing cavities in vascular bundles are found in option number d that is maize that is the correct answer and we have discussed about different types of xylem and phloem and vascular bundles in the chapter anatomy of flowering plants so there you can see the all the descriptions of this questions in this question number 18 it is written closed vascular bundles lack option number a cambium option number b pith option number c ground tissue and option number d conjunctive tissue this is a very easy question and it has come from the chapter anatomy of flowering plant so the closed vascular bundles they will lack cambium which means option number a is the correct answer all right student now let's move on to the next question that is question number 19 in question number 19 you can see placentation in tomato and lemon is option number a marginal option number b exile option number c parietal and option number d free central so what do you mean by placentation we have discussed in the chapter morphology of flowering plants about placentation so this two example that is tomato and lemon what is their placentation their placentation is exile which means option number b is the correct answer for this question now let's see the next question that is question number 20 companion cells are closely associated with option number a trichomes option number b gut cells option number c sieve elements and option number d vessel elements student this is also from the chapter anatomy of flowering plant so what is the correct answer the correct answer is sieve elements which means option number c is the correct answer for this question now let's move to the next question that is question number 21 in this question number 21 you can see here vaxillary estivation is a characteristic of the family option number a solanaceae option number b brassicaceae option number c fabaceae and option number d asteraceae student this is from the chapter morphology of flowering plants there we have discussed all about this family that is solanaceae brassicaceae fabaceae and asteraceae so which among the following options have a characteristic of vaxillary estivation that is option number c fabaceae option number c is the correct answer for this question now let's see the next question that is question number 22 in this question number 22 it is written phyllode is present in option number a australian acacia option number b opuntia option number c asparagus and option number d euphorbia this is a very easy question so where the phyllode is present the phyllode is present in option number a that is australian acacia so option number a is the correct answer for question number 22 now let's see the next question that is question number 23 in this question number 23 you can see the common bottle cork is a product of option number a xylem option number b vascular cambium option number c dermatogen and option number d phallogen student this is a very easy question so what is the correct answer the correct answer is cork cambium which is also called as phallogen option d is the correct answer for this question now let's see the next question that is question number 24 in question number 24 you can see which one of the following is a wrong statement option number a Phosphorus is a constituent of cell membrane, certain nucleic acid and all proteins. Statement number 2. 
that means option number B is nitrosomonas and nitrobacter are chemoautotrophs. Option number C, anabina and nostoc are capable of fixing nitrogen in free living state also. And option number D, root nodule forming nitrogen fixers leave as aerobes under free living conditions. Student, from this question you have to select the wrong statement. Let's find out. In option number A, it is written phosphorus is a constituent of cell membrane, certain nucleic acid and all proteins. Is this a correct statement? Well, no, this is a wrong statement. Next in option number B, it is written nitrosomonas and nitrobacter are chemoautotrophs that we have already discussed in chapter biological classification that these are the two example of chemoautotrophs. Next option number C. Anabina and Nostoc, these are capable of fixing nitrogen in free living state also. That is also a correct statement. And in option number D, it is written root nodule forming nitrogen fixers leave as aerobes under free living conditions. That is also a correct answer. We have discussed about root nodule that is in the chapter biomolecules. So what is the correct answer among these four options? The correct answer is B, C and D which means the wrong statement is only one that is in option number A. So option number A is the correct answer. In this question number 25 you can see how many plants in the list given below have composite fruits that develop from an inflorescence. Walnut, poppy, radish, fig, pineapple, apple, tomato and mulberry. Student, you have to select the one that have composite fruits and that develop from an inflorescence. So out of these examples, which of them are the correct answer? Fig, pineapple and mulberry. These are the composite fruits that develop from an inflorescence, which means from the options, that is option A is 2, option B is 3, option C is 4 and option D is 5, we have got the 3 examples which means option number B is the correct answer for this question. Now let's see the next question that is question number 26. Cymos inflorescence is present in option number A, trifolium, option number B, brassica, option number C, solenum and option number D, sesbenia. Students, in the chapter Morphology in Flowering Plant, we have discussed about the cymose inflorescence. So, among which of the following example, the cymose inflorescence is present? It is present in solenum, which means option number C is the correct answer for this question. Now, let's see the next question, that is question number 27. In this question, you can see which one of the following is correctly matched? Option number A potassium and their function is readily immobilization. Option number B, Bacchini of rice seedlings. It was given by F. Skoog. Option number C, passive transport of nutrients is done by ATP. And option number D, apoplast by plasmodesmata. Student, this is from the unit plant physiology. So what we have to do? We have to select the correctly matched option. So let's find out. In option number A, it is written potassium, it readily immobilization. That is a very confusing option because potassium readily mobilization. It should be like this. So this is something confusing. Next in option number B, it is written Bacchini of rice seedling is given by F. Skook. That is an incorrect statement because it was given by Hari, right? Next in option number C, it is written passive transport of nutrients is done by ATP. That is also incorrect statement because only in active transport ATP is required. Next in option number D, it is written Apoplas plasmodesmata. That is an incorrect statement because it should be Simplast. Simplast translocate through 
plasmodesmata. So, option number B, C and D are the incorrect statement. But in option number A, it is written potassium, it helps in readily immobilization. Instead of this statement, it should be like potassium readily mobilization. So, if that is the statement, then option A is the correct answer. Now, let us see the next question. That is question number 28. In question number 28, you can see a process that marks important difference between C3 and C4 plant is option number A, photosynthesis, option number B, photorespiration, option number C, transpiration and option number D, glycolysis. Student, this is a very easy question. So, which of the following process marks important difference between C3 and C4 plant? We have discussed in the chapter respiration in higher plants. C3 plants, they lack photorespiration process, whereas in C4 plants, the photorespiration take place. This is the major difference between C3 and C4 plant, which means option number B is the correct answer. Alright student, question number 29. The correct sequence of cell organelles during photorespiration is option number A, chloroplast, peroxisome, mitochondria, option number B, chloroplast, vacuole, peroxisome, option number C, chloroplast, Golgi bodies, mitochondria, option number D, chloroplast, rough endoplasmic reticulum and dictyosomes. So, what is the correct answer student? The correct sequence of cell organelles during the process photorespiration is chloroplast, then peroxisome and then mitochondria, which means option number A is the correct answer for this question. Now, let us see the next question that is question number 30. The coconut water and the edible part of coconut are equivalent to option number A, mesocarp, option number B, embryo, option number C, endosperm and option number D, endocarp. Student, this is from the chapter sexual reproduction in flowering plants. So, the coconut water and the edible part of coconut are equivalent to endosperm that is in the option number C. So, option number C is the correct answer.